Welcome back to the channel. We've got another exciting unboxing. This one I've been looking forward, forward to for a while. Uh, Brett and Chrissy from Return to Kit Form in Australia nicely provided this one. This is a fairly new from Hasegawa, the YF-19 Advanced Variable Fighter from Macross Plus in 172nd scale. A gorgeous looking kit from the animated series. I love Valkyries and the fighters from these. So we're going to look into this and uh, check it out. So there's the box art, pretty standard looking box art. And then if we look, I haven't even unbagged it, but uh, Brett and Chrissy were nice enough to provide their canopy kit masks. The return to kit form canopy mask for these are awesome by the way. Um, yeah. Okay, let's. We'll guess, guess we'll start with the decals, etc. So gorgeous looking decal sheet. You should get a lot of options with these, so you don't have to paint if you don't want to. I haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet. Might be another what if, but we'll see what happens. So uh, all the stuff, new and spacey, etc. Those are the schemes. Okay, let's have a quick look at the instructions. Here we go. Fairly straightforward. All in Japanese, of course, so you may have to use Google Translate on your phone. Uh, some stuff's in English for the paint callouts, etc. Uh, it even comes with a pilot figure. Uh, fairly comp not fairly detailed, a good high parts count for uh, doing stuff, but again, it'll be just a gorgeous looking and well fitting kit, hopefully, from Hasegawa. And then you've got the uh, single scheme there with a lot of different options, masking options, etc. As I said, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but the nice thing about it is the wings and that go on right at the end, so you've got a lot of options for your tail, you know, and painting and that before you actually assemble it. So, yeah, that'll be good. This is a fair size beast of a kit, so let's start off first. We will get the old hobby knife out. And we will have a look at what things are. So first and foremost, we have a very nice looking canopy set. The YF-19, its canopy opens forward. So if you do want to display a canopy open, be aware of that. Haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Some clear parts there. Haven't decided if I'm going to display it open or closed yet. Traditionally, I, di I display them closed. Okay, all the rest of the sprues are in a single bag, so hopefully nothing got bounced around too long. It didn't take long. It take, took like 10 days for this to get shipped up from Australia, uh, so not long at all, so I was very impressed about that. Okay, lots of sprues in here. Oh, yeah, a few things did bounce out. We're going to have to be careful here. So, first sprue looks like one of the leg assemblies. Very nicely molded, typical Hasegawa, fairly crisp. There, we'll just show you what that looks like. And then the second set, the other leg assembly with one of the tails missing here. There you go. Good stiff Hasegawa plastic. What else have I got here? Looks like some, maybe some cockpit seats, a little tiny, something else that's a little tiny. I'm going to have to, uh, Put that in a separate little container. Moving on, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, this is where some of the stuff came off. Here we go. Some more details, engine, engine intakes, etc. Looks like part of the pilot figure there. The other side, again, duplicate sprues, essentially, as you can see. And then we have some more engine landing gear. Nice looking landing gear. Again, they, a lot of this they based off naval landing gears, because these things would operate off aircraft carriers. That looks like a cockpit tub there. And then we have the wing assembly. Nice little bit of recessed panel lines. Tough to see, I know, but you get the idea. 
And then we have the top and bottom fuselage. As you can see, she's rather a long aircraft. Very big. And remember, this is 172nd scale. So that looks good. Oops. And then the underside here. Again, nice recessed panel lines with the uh, one half of the uh, gun pod. Very, very nice. So yeah, that's just, uh, I thought I'd just do a very short and sweet. Uh, there will be some accompanying pictures. And don't forget, as always, uh, you'll find those pictures as well as a posting uh, with the link to the YouTube video on blackfire.ca. And also don't forget, I do a podcast, a scale model podcast. Check that out. Uh, we're happy to have you join us. So that's it for this time. Thank you and be well.